season approaches, we do want to make sure you know we're thinking about our blessings and giving back to our community. Our season of Hope Toy Drive is back and we need your help to put toys under the tree for families right here in the metro. So let's head out to my co-anchor Kevin Holmes. He's live at Fire Station number 19 in Kansas City to explain how you can donate. Kevin? Yeah, Caitlin, Fire Station 19 from around 43rd and Warnell for those of you who uh, want a better frame of reference kind of in Midtown right now. Hey, you guys better be nice to me back at the station. I got somebody who really can put you guys on the naughty list if you guys are not. But it is our Season of Hope campaign entering year three. It really is something near and dear to my heart as we raise money and toys for kids, for those in our area, so that everyone can have a worthy Christmas and still that hope and a smile in a kid. In fact, we have some right here, and we'll explain how you can get involved just a bit like this uh, – you know, I guess for a nice little tea party for a kid of, uh, you know, small ages between the age of three to seven or eight or so. So you can put some tea or adults put coffee or whatever anchor beverage you want to put in here. Hey, I'm joined by Santa, <laughs> who's hard at work Hello, right now. Kevin, how are you? I'm good, Santa. Santa, 37 sleeps or 30, 38 sleeps. 38 sleeps to Christmas. And you, you, you guys have a lot of work to do. Oh Talk my to goodness. me about My elves are working feverishly around the clock. But we need Kansas City's help for the season of hope. The generosity and the kindness of Kansas City in the years past has been wonderful. We need to keep that up and help the children. No child should wake up on Christmas Day without a present. Exactly. And folks at home, they should help us with this campaign. We'll explain Please. just a bit. Hey, when you were a little guy before your Santa days, what was your favorite toy? Well, that was 1,700 years ago, Kevin. <laughs> a nice truck or a, a, a car, a little car to play with was fun. But that was a long time ago. Hard to remember that long ago. <laughs> Thank you, Santa. All right, Mike with KCFD, you know, you have been with us every step of the way, all three years. Talk to me a bit about uh, the kids you guys see. You guys see people on the worst of times, but you guys really know the need in our community for, for toys and to bring smiles on faces. Yeah, we run all types of children, and, and for Christmas, you know, we want to make sure that everybody wakes up, gets that smile on their face, has something to open. Um, so we like to partner with you guys. It makes it convenient for people who, when they want to donate, there's a fire station in every neighborhood. You don't have to worry about driving all the way across town or finding Salvation Army or coming all the way to your station. Stop by any neighborhood fire station. You can drop off a toy. Hey, so it really is simple, guys. You guys get a toy and you drop them off. We have several locations, every fire station in Kansas City across the metro, as well as Chick-fil-A locations across the metro and our station on the plaza. So you come in. You donate the toy, and it's just that simple. If toys aren't your thing, you'd like to make a cash contribution, you can do that as well. Go to our website, kshp.com, look for our Season of Hope tab, and let's help brighten up a Christmas for all the kids in Kansas City. It's just that simple. Ho, ho, ho. On behalf of Santa and KCFT, I'm Kevin Hobes, KSHP 41 News. Kevin, thank you. Thanks to Santa and our firefighting partners, as well as Chick-fil-A. By the way, we know this time of year is busy, so if you don't have time to shop, we accept monetary donations, too. Just text KSHB to 50155 to donate directly to the Salvation Army. That money will be used to purchase toys for families.